right? Are we all ready? Yeah. Excited? Yep. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, Simon, is I'm going to lift Kez out and I'm going to pop him on your chest. So his head's going to be on your chest and his body facing downwards, OK? What I want you to do mm -hmm. is I want you to put a hand on his head and a hand on his bottom. Now, when he first comes out, his first instinct is to push away, OK? Because he's okay. looking for a boundary again. Yeah. So what I want you to do is give him that good positive touch like you have been doing. Okay. Hand on the head, hand on the bottom and, and press him against your body. So he's feeling that nice security. Yeah. OK. Okay. Leaving the incubator is a new experience for Kez. Nurse Leanne makes sure he's well supported. If your baby is attached to monitors, you can expect readings to change and alarms perhaps to go off as the baby responds temporarily to new sensations. That's lovely. Oh, he's wriggling. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. You see what I mean about him wriggling oh, away? That's it. He, he might grumble a little bit just because it's, oh, it's all it's different. Crying. It's okay. <laughs> You're not used to hearing them sounds, are you? Yeah. Oh. I'm going to put the sling over him, OK? And I'll tell you when to move your hands, OK? So you just stay where you are for now. So we just took his toes in underneath. And that's all for. That's it. Okay? You feel okay? Yeah. Lovely. He's gone to sleep. Perfect. <laughs> he's, he's nice and relaxed. Kez soon settles, and both he and Simon begin to enjoy the benefits of kangaroo care. When he's in the incubator and I'm holding him or I'm touching him, there's that barrier, you know, between us. And this is the way it's meant to be. And I really like it this <laughs> There's evidence that regular extended periods of skin-to-skin -skin contact can bring benefits both to babies and their parents. Kez is now totally relaxed and sleeping. This is the closest he can now come to the experience he would have had in Simon's womb if he'd not arrived early. One of the things we have to think about is what can we do to bring the baby's experience closer to what they're expecting developmentally? Well, obviously we can't recreate the room, but the mother is the one that provides the closest match, really, to what the baby needs. So that's one reason why skin to skin is so valuable, because, you know, there the baby smells the mother. He'll f feel the sort of rhythm of her body, which would be familiar, the sound of her voice that would be familiar. The touch of her skin and her holding will be much more appropriate. To allow your baby to settle and benefit from skin to skin, you need to be comfortable and prepared to stay for a long time, at least an hour and ideally longer. During this special time with Kez, Sima is going to read the book she brought for him. Tiny head reminds me of him. <laughs> From the case on the wall came a big sigh. I'm fed up with being on the shelf, said Tiny Ted. No one ever talks to me. Kez seems to be soothed by his mother's touch. He can hear the comforting sounds of her heartbeat and her voice, both familiar from the womb. We know that auditory learning, babies learn to recognise voices and speech and reading and things well before term. So we know that it's important for them to hear the parents' voice and to hear them talking well before their due dates. 